Cool Cars by Tony Mitten. Cars are really handy for getting us around. They whiz along on busy roads and make a zoomy sound. Cars can come in many shapes, in sizes large or tiny. Here's a really little car and one that's big and shiny. A car must have a driver to make it start and go. Drivers take a test to check the things they need to know. Traffic lights, road markings, signs along the way. You have to read them quickly and do the things they say. The steering wheel directs the car and turns it left or right. The mirror helps by keeping other traffic well in sight. You use your feet to press the pedals down upon the floor. One stops the car completely and one makes it speed up more. To keep it running smoothly, your car needs time and care. Check the oil and water. Pump the tires with air. Fill its tank with gasoline, then drive it through the wash. The wipers clear the windshield with a swishy swishy swash. Convertibles are really great for driving in the sun. The top folds down or comes right off. It makes the drive more fun. If you're driving off the road on ground that's really rough, a sturdy four-wheel drive is best, with tires thick and tough. Some cars are built for racing. They zip along so fast. It's noisy and exciting as they all go roaring past. Police cars have a siren and warning lights that flash to show they're chasing criminals or rushing to a crash. Some cars are really fancy, like gleaming limousines. They're used to carry movie stars and presidents and queens. But anyone who's out in town and needs to take a ride can hail a passing taxi cab and quickly jumps inside. Sometimes there's a traffic jam. The vehicles all get stuck. So if you're in the middle, you're really out of luck. But when the roads are clear and the weather's fine and bright, a car ride in the country can fill us with delight. We've packed a yummy picnic. It's a warm and sunny day. Let's buckle up our seatbelts and then we're on our way.